Well, hello, I'm Kevin Cavino. My family and I uh, own Harvest Moon Farm and Orchard. Um, and we're just glad that you guys chose us to uh, come out here and kick off the fall and really excited to have everybody. So thank you and let me introduce uh, the county executive. Thanks, Kevin, thanks, man. You're very welcome. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'm George Latimer, county executive, and I really want to thank Kevin for opening up his farm uh, and his home to, for all of us to come uh, celebrate fall and celebrate the fact that Westchester County has got such diversity that uh, you're out in the country and you're enjoying the fall and right here at a wonderful apple orchard. This is um, probably the nicest time of the year. I've, I've gone through a lot of, of the cycle here and there's something to be said for the spring and the summer and the winter, but the fall is where you really get a chance to see this area show its best and we're in a part of the county that you know makes you feel that uh, you're away from the big city, whether the big city is Yonkers or the big city is uh, Manhattan or Brooklyn. But uh, all of our neighbors from New York City, from, from Long Island, from Rockland County, Connecticut, uh, there are things right here in Westchester County. This is just one of the many things over this weekend that you can enjoy. Certainly you can explore a wonderful area like this. Um, you know, unfortunately for me, it's a few years now since I was a young father. And I remember how much fun it was to bring my daughter as a child, but now I have grandkids, so i got to figure out how to get them up here from Lexington, Kentucky, so we can come and apple pick and pumpkin pick uh, to take hay rides and, and enjoy all the fresh-grown fruit. If you are an outdoor enthusiast, uh, you can hit hundreds of miles of hiking and biking that we have in our beautiful county parks up in this area of the county. Mountain Lakes is not far away. We're not too far from Wood Pound Ridge. And uh, all of the different parks that we have each have their own appeal. There are parts of the county on a day like today you can be looking out of the Hudson River or the Long Island Sound as well as here in this uh, particular area. We're very fortunate to have partners in our uh, world of tourism, Historic Hudson Valley, Lindhurst, and there's so many different attractions. I had the opportunity last week to see the kickoff of the great, the great uh, jack-o'-lantern blaze at Van Cortlandt Manor, Horseman's Hollow and Irving's Legend at some of the other historic Hudson Valley sites in Phillipsburg Manor and at Sunnyside, uh, the, uh, the decorations at Lyndhurst and, uh, and really all across the area and before too long we're going to open up our uh, Scared by the Sound uh, facility down at Playland which is right near where I live and it's always nice to hear those haunted sounds whenever I come in at the end of the night. Uh, it's uh, probably appropriate for me in this new responsibility. So there's so many different activities and I think we'll start the weekend off by having a chance to taste some of Kevin's terrific apples and uh, if, if you don't want the doctor to come you have an apple, apple a day keeps the doctor away so we'll see what we can do to help discourage the medical uh, industry from uh, using us. So, I'll hand it to my friends. One for everybody and I need an apple too. So. <laughs> I'll uh, get the apple back. On the count of three, no, just, we'll just enjoy an apple again. Kevin, three. thank you very much Everybody for sharing this with us all. Of course. You want us to see us all biting? Getting in? close, getting close. <laughs> teeth. Let's hope these teeth hold in here, right? <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> Wonderful. Here we are. We're good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Let me introduce the other people who are here, and they're each going to say a few words. Uh, we're happy to have with us Natasha Caputo. She'll be next up to bat, who's our Director of Tourism and Film. Kathy O'Connor, our Commissioner of Parks and Recreation, is with us here. Kit Lee Koval, who's Westchester County Legislator. She represents this area of the county. Rob Schweitzer, who's with Historic Hudson Valley. He's Vice President of Communications and Commerce. And Howard Czar, who's Executive Director of Lyndhurst Castle. So first, uh, Natasha Caputo, who uh, heads up our Tourism and Film. Natasha. Good afternoon, and thank you, County Executive. Um, as we just, I mean, fall has really begun here in Westchester County. The leaves are turning, and this season attracts both visitors and locals to events that we are going to hear more about, and including our partners, make it more accessible at Metro North. For visitors to get to us by rail and also stay overnight, we have um, the Holiday Inn in Mount Kisco who offers shuttle service to farms such as this. You could do 
Hudson River Tours and Peekskill and much more. And I also want to mention our new and updated Westchester County Farms and Orchards brochure available on visitwestchesterny.com and that was produced by our part with our partners at the Valley Table. The tourism industry is a major economic impact um, driver here in the county. It contributes over 1.9 billion dollars. So this is our peak time. We welcome you and we hope to see you soon. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. Nice. Thank you. Next, Kathy O'Connor, our Commissioner of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation. <clears throat> Thank you, County Executive Latimer. I'm going to do a quick commercial on the wonderful events that our staff in the Parks, Recreation, and Conservation Division uh, is able to present to everyone, particularly the patrons of uh, Westchester County. Um, County Executive already mentioned, uh, scared by the sound, it's a haunted house attraction. And if you think it's just a uh, silly little thing, go there. I took my family. It is scary. Right at Playland, uh, Rye Beach. And <clears throat> it opens Friday, Saturday, and Sundays now through October 28th. Fabulous program. The Halloween Train Show and Fall Festival is right here at Lasden, not far from where we are today. It's the Lasden Park and Arboretum in Somers. It's open 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays and October 28th and Monday Columbus Day. Uh, it's, it's something for everybody. It's a beautiful train show, but there's a haunted side to it, a really scary side to it. The whole family will enjoy it. And then, of course, we have pumpkin picking, picking at Muscoot Farm, also in Somers. Open this Saturday and Sunday and Columbus Day. Um, we also would like to share with everyone that Saturday, October 27th, is Halloween Day in Westchester County Parks at our six nature centers, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Ward Pound Ridge, Marshlands, Cranberry, Lenoir, and Reed Sanctuary all have very specific Halloween themed events for the whole family. So please come out and join us. It's a beautiful time of the year before the snows come. Come on out and enjoy our parks. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kathy. Next, our county legislator, Kidley Coble. Thank you for the apple. That was very nice. I can't wait to not talk so I can go to eat it. It's delicious. That's my advertisement. But it's wonderful to be here. This is such a beautiful area, and it really is something that drives people up here. They see this, and then they say, hmm, I wonder how much the houses are. So that's my plug. This is a great area to be in, and I love representing it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kidley. Next, uh, Rob Schweitzer from Historic Hudson Valley, which, as we mentioned, has a lot of very impressive things going on this fall. Thank you. Um, Historic Hudson Valley is a nonprofit education and cultural organization based in Sleepy Hollow Country. We own and operate National Historic Landmarks, including Sunnyside, which was the home of Washington Irving, who wrote The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, literally putting it on the map. Uh, we're very proud of the special events that we create throughout the year, and our fall events draw more than 250,000 people to the area from near and far. We are delighted to provide such a huge boost from the county, and we thank our awesome partners, County Executor, County Executive Latimer, uh, Westchester Tourism and Film, especially Natasha, who is fantastic, um, and other great cultural institutions like Lyndhurst. We kicked off the blaze last weekend at Van Cortland Manor in Croton on Hudson. This is one of the largest ticketed Halloween-inspired events in the country. It runs for 45 nights all the way through Thanksgiving weekend and features more than 7,000 intricately carved jack-o'-lanterns. And nothing that I could say could do it justice, so you just have to see it. It has, has to be seen to be believed. Tonight, in Sleepy Hollow, we open Horseman's Hollow at Phillipsburg Manor. This is a period-correct haunted experience with very high production values. It's set in the late 1700s and it's designed to scare the wits out of you. People seem to enjoy this. It's been growing in popularity every year and it's running this year through Halloween. And last but not least, I want to mention something really special making its debut tonight, also at Phillipsburg Manor, and that's something called the Unsilent Picture. We commissioned a professionally produced all-original silent film starring Tony Award winner Bill Irwin. The film will screen along with live musicians and a special effect effects artist. This is an immersive event, brand new, we're super excited about it, and I hope that you, um, that you come and experience it. Again, I just want to thank the county and all of our partners without whom we could not fulfill our mission. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Uh, to close, Howard with uh, Lindhurst. Thank you, County Executive Latimer, and welcome everybody. Lindhurst is a great place 
to experience the fall and Halloween. We're a Gothic castle built in the 1830s, located on 67 acres right on the Hudson River. Uh, it's very centrally located to just about anywhere you're coming from, 35 minutes from Manhattan, from northern New Jersey, from Greenwich, Connecticut, and from northern Westchester County. So we're easy to get to and a pleasant place to be. We have a number of different activities at Lindhurst during the month. During the daytime, we have tours of the mansion with a Halloween twist, exhibiting things that are rarely seen in our collections. At night, we have Jay Gould's House of Curiosities, uh, where the mansion is lit and wonderful to see. I will warn, however, we are almost completely sold out for that for the month. But during the day, if you just want to hang out, Lindhurst is a great place to come. The grounds are decorated with a modern sculpture exhibition with scarecrows, and the mansion is decorated, especially the last two weeks of the month. For $5 a person, you can stay all day at Lindhurst, experience the Hudson, get some of the best views of the remaining Tappan Zee Bridge and of the new Mario Cuomo Bridge. So come and visit us and thank you everybody. Westchester is a great place to be in October. Thank you, Howard. And I actually ate the apple. Uh, if there are any questions from our friends in the press. If not, thank you for coming. If you want to interview uh, any of the people individually, feel free. And thank you for your time. Make sure you get an apple. Enjoy the fall. Thank you.